So Surfer SEO recently came out with an AI content writer of their own. And so I decided, let's try it with a couple of things. I tried it with a blog post and a web page to see how quick I could rank on Google. And if I did rank, where exactly would I fall? So with that being said, I'll show you exactly how I did that and what blog post I did. Let's go ahead and give it a shot and see exactly how we ranked when we tried two things. All right, so the first thing I'll show you is exactly how you do this. You'll see on the left-hand side, content editor. Now, nothing's changed except for one thing over here. When you enter a keyword, now you have two options. You have write yourself or write with AI. And you can see I wrote with AI two times. So what you want to do is that you can put any specific keyword in here. For example, if I did mid journey best prompts, I can create for one CE credit or I can click write with AI and then it will write me a complete article or a blog post for one AI credit. Now keep in mind, this isn't free. And you can see here on the pricing, if I want to create just one article, it's going to cost me $29, 10 articles created for the price of $261. And then the price goes up from there. So to be fair, you want to make sure you want to keep that in mind when you utilize this method, is it going to be worth the price tag for you to use this method? Now it could be helpful if you're ranking on the first page, if you're doing your keyword research the right way, if you're targeting good keywords with a low KD and a high search volume, this might be perfect for you because time is money and you can be productive and spit out a lot of blog posts fairly quickly that would take you double, triple, quadruple the amount of time. You could do this now with the click of a button and then just do a few slight modifications. So let's go over here to my keywords database and here's what I did. I have a series of keywords and I have it broken down by KD and volume. So I have keyword density score, which the lower the better. The first one I did was this one right here, chat GPT mid journey prop generator. So you can see the KD score is 13 and it has a search volume of 50. So it should be very easy to easy to rank for. So let's see how Surfer SEO did. If I take this keyword and go back over to SEMrush, we could see this is where I got the numbers from. So we have a volume of 50 and we have a KD score keyword difficulty of very easy 13%, which gives me a good chance to rank high in the search result. So what you do is you come back over here to Surfer SEO, you plug that keyword in, which we'll do in a second. And then once you plug that keyword in, it's going to give you an outline and then it's going to actually draft the full post for you. Now, right off the bat, you could see it gives us a score on the right hand side of a 73 out of 100, which if you're in that green zone, anywhere in that green zone is very good. And then you can see the stats over here. It has almost 2000 words, 18 headings, 34 paragraphs, and images, six image placements. Now I'll do that on the back end of my website. I'll do the images and add alt tags, which should also improve that score a little bit more. How exactly did I perform or where did I rank exactly on Google? I'll show you that right now. So if I plug that keyword over here into Google, you could see until you get to my website, I'm not quite on the first page, but if you scroll down, you'll be able to see that here is my page right here. So I'm actually on the second page about halfway down. So listen, it's not bad considering I got this done in like 10 to 15 minutes, but I think with immediately getting on the second page, I think with some slight modifications and some different adjustments, I think I could probably skirt my way up to the first page eventually. I can improve the score, I think probably to at least 80. So let's go back to the second thing I did. And this one gave me a score of 75 out of 100. And the word I'm trying to rank for here is chat GPT prompt G. So keep in mind what you want to do is try to shoot for the lowest KD score possible, but a somewhat respective and decent search volume. So if I go back over here into SEMrush, you can see this is exactly where I got these stats from. So 320, 25, which is easy. So keeping that in mind, I think anything that Surfer SEO can help us out with this keyword could be very beneficial. So again, I typed in that keyword and here's a whole entire thing in the article it created for us. Again, on the right hand side, it gives me a score of 75 out of 100, which is very good. I'm in that green zone. And I think again, with some tweaking, I can get that score up into the eighties by adding some more headlines, paragraphs, and images. So where exactly did we rank for this page? This time I didn't create a blog post. I created just a complete web page. That's just chat GPT prompt genius. I did a lot of the things that Surfer SEO said. I added the keywords. I added the number of words they suggested, headlines, paragraphs, etc. FAQ drop downs to where you can come in here and you can copy and paste these prompts and then use them for yourself. So if I come over here to Google and I type that keyword in, let's just see exactly how we did rank. So here's the first page of Google. I'm going to scroll down until we get to my web page. Okay. And then here we are my web page right here. Now, again, this is not the first page, but it's close. It's going to be right on the cusp of the first page right here. So in this case, it's going to be on the top of the second page. And so, which is good because I think as I look at this page, I can definitely do a lot of tweaking and some changes. And I think eventually I could definitely get this page on the first page. 
so I can probably make another page or a blog post specifically listing about 50 of the best mid journey prompts. And I'll come over here again, go to content editor and then type in your keyword. In this case, it's going to be mid journey best prompts and underneath keyword, just select add. Okay. So we have the keyword mid journey best prompts and don't forget you want to select right with AI. So up on the right hand side, you could see I've successfully added one surfer AI credit to your organization. So then here we go. Let's go back over here to the content editor. And now I actually have the option of creating for one AI credit. Again, this is going to cost me $29. So let's just hope for the best and go ahead and select it. And you could see it's starting to generate right here on the top. We'll see exactly how this works out for us. Okay. So now once it's done generating, this part takes about two to three minutes. You could see, let's go over here and now select it. it says complete your article let's go ahead and select complete your article open up this page wait a few seconds and then here we go the first thing it's going to do is give you an outline so you could see adjust and personalize to craft your ideal articles tone of voice i'm going to go ahead and leave it my tone on auto serp base but you can change it up from casual all the way down to excited formal and humorous i just leave mine on auto serp base on the right hand side, boost anti AI detection. I don't really think that's necessary. You could try it, but for the most part, I think it's done a pretty good job of keeping it away from being too AI written. And then I have this box always selected where it says, I would like to review the outline in the next step. Okay. So once you have that, let's just leave everything as is there. And then on the bottom right hand side, go ahead and select create outline. It's going to start generating and creating an outline for you. Once it has that outline, the next step will be for it to generate the complete article for you. Okay. So now check this out. The outline is complete. We'll give it a quick review and see exactly what it generated for us as far as the specific outline. So here we go. Here's the H1, the ultimate list of mid journey best prompts for 2023. Let's just go ahead and say we like this outline. Okay. Once you figured out that this outline is going to work for you now on the bottom right hand side, what you want to do next is just select let's write from here. Let's let surfer SEO work its magic. And then we'll come back and visit it and see exactly how it performed for us. All right. Very nice. So now surfer SEO is done writing our complete full article the ultimate list of mid journey best prompts for 2023. And you can look over here on the right hand side, look at this amazing score right off the bat. It's going to give me a score of 77 out of 100, which is phenomenal. You always want to shoot to be within that green section. And again, here we go. I have almost 2,600 words, 25 headings, paragraphs, some images. And then as, as I scroll down, I can see everything. It was used what's highlighted in green or yellow or red and where any improvements might need to be made. So let's just take a look at this quick article right here. And based off the outline, it does have everything as far as the bullet points and H1, H2s and H3s in the correct places. And just kind of browsing over the, the text, it all looks really good and really relevant. And so um, for the most part, this looks pretty good. And so what I would do next is say, okay, if I already have a 77 out of 100, the next thing I want to do is just get this score up a little bit higher. Look on the right hand side and say, okay, what are some of the words that are not highlighted in green? Well, let's take this and let's try to add a little bit more of these words to the context of the article. Make sure it's relevant and it makes sense. You don't want to just do keyword stuffing. That's going to be so bad for you. You could do some tweaking and eventually get to the first page. Now I do think this method with surfer SEO can be worth it. It's going to help you with your productivity in the time frame that it takes me to generate and create one article with all these keywords and get a keyword score of 77 out of 100. That's going to take me quite a bit of time. I could basically do 10 of these articles in the amount of time it would take me to do just one. Now, keep in mind, 29 times 10 is going to be a lot of money. So you have to weigh, is it worth spending that amount of money to increase my productivity, give me more time. But if not, you can go the easier method. Chat GPT has a lot of good prompts. You can click the link in my description and get some of those SEO prompts where it can basically do almost the same thing. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Jordan,